Hey guys, so we have seen countless images, renders, videos about the iPhone 8, and it's time to forget all that because this new video from OnLeaks is like pretty much the iPhone 8 with screen turned off. There cannot be a better iPhone 8 leak than this. Apple must be pissed about it because this exposes the iPhone 8 in its full glory. High quality professional video from OnLeaks and Tiger Mobile showcasing your new iPhone 8. And not only this, we also have some new interesting news that really made me a happy person. All right, if you are my subscriber, you know everything about the iPhone 8, so this leak doesn't add anything new to it, but it shows what the official iPhone 8 will look like in best possible way. A 5.8 inch bezel-less display that looks so goddamn small, it's unbelievable. That's the beauty of this bezel-less era. Then we got the same cutout on the top for the sensors, which we have seen a lot of times before. So this is like a further confirmation on that. This iPhone 8 is color coded, so the sides are matching the color of the phone, making it the most realistic iPhone 8 look yet. On the back, we got the dual cameras that protrude a bit more than the iPhone 7 Plus. That's something I can notice. On the sides, we got the usual stuff. Nothing changed except one thing, uh, which is the new power button. Larger than any iPhone power button. There must be a reason for this. If Apple fails to put the fingerprint scanner in the display, then this might be the place for it. And speaking of fingerprint scanner, Vivo on Wednesday at the start of MWC Shanghai 2017 showcased its new under the display fingerprint scanning solution based on Qualcomm's tech. Vivo claims it's under the display fingerprint solution is the first to be demonstrated by a smartphone manufacturer. No physical button needed. It works through the display just like we all wanted. Now thanks to Qualcomm for making this happen. The technology sent ultrasonic waves through the display glass to read fingerprints. It even works with wet fingers so it'll come in handy with water resistant tech as well. According to Qualcomm, this will be available for Qualcomm Snapdragon and for non-Snapdragon hardware. Uh, the ultrasonic technology can work through OLED display uh, or glass or aluminum. Before you say Vivo is better than Apple or Samsung, you know, because they did it first. The thing is, it's a new technology, so you can't expect it to just be on top in phones. So they tried it on the Vivo. It's a prototype phone, and according to Engadget, the fingerprint scanning uh, was a little laggy on the prototype. So, uh, but I'm really, really happy to see this. I'm 100% sure that Galaxy S9 will have under the display fingerprint scanner. Apple on the other hand is working on its own solution even though Qualcomm says it's available for non-Snapdragon phones but I don't see it coming to the iPhone since there is an ongoing feud between the two. Guys I'm gonna be honest here I'm actually more excited about the iPhone 8 than the Galaxy Note 8 as far as the current news and everything goes. Also we have a new leak that says the iPhone 8 will come with a new cable lightning to USB-C right out of the box that will support fast charging. It can also be used to plug the iPhone directly to the latest MacBook Pros uh, that features a Type-C port. So we also got a new wireless charging sound found in iOS 11. So this was actually posted on YouTube and uh, let's hear it. <laughs> pretty sweet sound which is different obviously never heard before on the iPhone could be a sign of the new wireless charging that is coming on the upcoming iPhone 8 not only the iPhone 8 but the 7s and the 7s plus will get the wireless charging as well as fast charging so yeah that's all we have that's it it's only a matter of time before we see some working iPhones in the wild I can't wait guys this looks amazing but let me know your thoughts on this and I'll see you guys soon peace out